Oh, oh. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> we're all popping back up. Are we actually pushing I out think now? We're we, actually we... live now. Actually okay. live and real this time on uh, on YouTube. So hello, so everybody. We... Good evening, one and all. I'm afraid we seem to have momentarily lost. We've lost Jem. Um, I but literally was tradition. like, all right, Jem, you're leading this thing. Three, two, one. <laughs> And, and he then just, he, he just disappeared. disappeared. This guy got a hit live. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So, uh, <laughs> so we, sorry about there that. He is. Uh, there yeah, you so you go, this is what you said. You go three, two, and then it goes blank. And it says something went wrong. So are we live? We yes. are. We're on the internet. Oh, What's up, everyone? <clears throat> uh, it's another beautiful day in rainy Oregon. in I'm assuming relatively cold uh, Czech Republic. And yeah, definitely, it's cold today. And nice it's cold. In, it's cold in in the Midwest, right, Caleb? It is. It's freezing rain. People are driving like crazy people. You might you might see a slight delay today. It would not be Cameron Flask without a little bit of uh, technical, we'll say, challenges. But watching some of the other live streams today, hey, we're not special. No. There's been some other things going on. Right, and you know, and Jem, you know what that I love about the format, despite its technical issues weekly, yeah. is yeah. that there's no cropping here. Do you notice that we still have our nice full frames intact? It's, it's great. So I cheeky. love that. You're so <laughs> cheeky. What a cheeky bastard! Um, <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. Seventy-one degrees where Travis is. Daniel, she's nuts. Sam, Harrison, Clay. Tr oh my god. Victor, you cheeky boy. Rob, 360 grad. Well, we'll see if you're cheeky because you're going to have a drink with uh, Ben soon in London. And we've got yeah. Harrison here. And uh, we're missing some people. But I think they'll show up. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, we don't have Sky here this week. Uh, Chris is here. But, you know, the cast of characters. And here we are. Um just to give you a heads up, the gentleman, let me see where he is on the bottom right, Mr. Caleb Pike, a little bit under the weather. So you're going to hear him, but hear him a little bit less than normally. And that is by design because we are encouraging the hot toddy drinking uh, so he can mend and go to the Big Apple, uh, a healthy young lad, and have a, an excellent trip. So, uh, boys, uh, Ben, how are you this week and what are you drinking? Uh, I'm very well and quite busy this week in a very nice way. Lots of interesting stuff going on. Uh, this week I'm on I'm on the cooking whiskey out of the decanter. Mm. Yeah, because oh, I, I haven't been into town to buy anything, so it it feels special, mm. but it really isn't. This is the little five year old Queen Margot that I'm a big fan of, and I've drunk on here very many times. But but in in my granddad's decanter, it, it feels feels more special than it is. But it's mm. perfectly drinkable. So there we go. That's what I'm on. And what about? What and it's a blended doing? whiskey, right? It's a blended whiskey, yeah. But it's 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 seven, eight. No, what is it? Eight euros a yeah. bottle, Perfect. something like that. I have to try Bargain. that. Okay, silky smooth. Yeah, when you come and see me. Yeah, we'll have some. Day. I cannot yeah. wait until the three of us go to Total Wine in Vegas in April on that, that, was such fun last week, year. <laughs> on that Wednesday. On that Wednesday. And we we go pick our bottle for uh, for Cameron Flask because we're gonna arrive and then we're gonna have to go do a Cameron Flask and then the second one following NAB will be when we all get home and hopefully Ben you'll mm. be up here in Oregon we'll see how that yeah, goes yeah that's that's the plan that's that's what I'm that's what I'm planning on good yeah. good good uh, but it says no gem right now Rob says wait a second what mm. should be should be good to go yep. <laughs> no, 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 he's just disappeared. Amazing. All right, well, let, let's carry on with, with drinking. I presume you're on with something medicinal, Caleb, drink-wise this um, week. Yes, it just kicked me out, too. So uh, for oh, okay. those who, can you see me? Can you hear me? I can see you and hear you. So is it just good. me? Am I the only person no, you're good. now on the list? Okay. Um, right. So Lightstream, what the software you use is a complete burning garbage hole trash can but we're gonna keep carrying on so it looks like i'm out of sync randomly but this week i'm doing a hot toddy which consists of um very very little alcohol in fact there's almost you know just a couple of teaspoons of whiskey lots of lemon juice and honey and hot water 
So that's what I'm rocking today. And then Jem mm-hmm. will uh, join us at some point. But in the meantime, to get this party yeah. started, <laughs> cheers. Let's just crack on. Bam. <laughs> nice to have you. Cheers. Uh, mm. And hi to is. Bart. Oh, he's back. I was just going to say to Bart, I have been checking out your video that you made. Uh, I'm not sure how old it is on your UV fish tank filming because I have a, a job coming up that I need to do something similar with, and it was excellent. So I've been getting lots of tips from that today. So thank you, James. What are you drinking? Uh, I am deciding what I'm going to drink. It's going to be either Ooh, fancy pants with a switch. Hey, baby. Oh, hey, baby. Look at this. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to go with this today, which is the Glen Livet. I'm sick of the autofocus. No, I finally set up the A10 Mini. Uh, this is a horrible shot, so you won't really be able to see anything. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> oh, you can see you can at least see the lights that are down there. There's a little uh, spiffy gear uh, Lumi, and then another stupid little light. Um, but I'm going to have this because I think I'm just in the mood for. It. I really want to drink the scotch I had last week, but I have to savor that for a while. Ooh, there we go. Very nice. So that's me. I'm going to have that. So uh, I'm going to pour that. Have you already done your hot toddy thingy or whatever you're going to do? Um, yeah. We yeah. started drinking. We, are, we actually already began. So cheers. Well, cheers, cheers Jim. <laughs> Welcome back again. I'll catch up. Sorry. Hey, you know. Thank mm. And thank you. And thank you for our not sponsor, Lightstream Studio. Can you get a paid, yeah. affordable option of this so that you can have your tech support actually support the product? And how about 1080? We like the product, but we don't like the product. So let's get this going here. Okay. What do we got? It's uh, the $2,500 Canon EF mount lens kit challenge. Uh, yeah. New can, and- I, I'm, I'm going to just stop you right there. Here we go. Because that, so we did get, <laughs> it was a slightly confusing brief for this challenge at the end uh, of last week's episode i think it's fair to say i would say we, that we, might be accurate we were freewheeling a little now my understanding at the end of that uh sort of exercise at the end of the show was that the lenses that we were choosing had to be able to be adapted to ef not having an ef mount on them and having looked at a couple of the, the lists that have come through, I, I think I'm not alone in thinking that was what we were doing. <laughs> yeah, but. no, I think I think the idea was they're EF because EF is adaptable, EF or EFS, because they're adaptable to virtually every camera system that's out there um, for the most part. And that was my understanding. And then I sent out an email to you and Caleb yesterday, which, of course, you read, Ben, because you created <laughs> today. Which had all the criteria on the page. So I'm just saying, just saying, I'm going to have another drink right now. Just saying. Um, and, we have, and we have five people who are regulars who have also submitted their lists. And uh, Caleb has those lists as well. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. So it's here's how I feel about that. Uh, I w- I'm with Ben. I was, I still <laughs> thought. Because we were talking about adapters, you can blah blah blah. You can use adapters. You just don't have to include the price of the adapter. You don't. Um, but which, they were. Which, if be... we're talking about adapters, then we don't need them to be EF. That's... They just had to be able to adapt to EF because EF is very you know standard and. Oh yeah, and, and we okay were doing that. that because it was it was going to be a bit of a challenge because you couldn't you can't adapt absolutely everything to EF and maintain infinity focus. Right. Otherwise, we're, infinity otherwise, what are we doing right. here? Was this the Canon right. show? Right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It already kind of is, but you know what I mean. I I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll agree with that. So okay, so it's a lens that can be adapted to EF mount or be native EF mount, that- and you can then put it onto pretty much any camera. Right. Okay, I can say my list goes along with your rules. I was gonna go crazy and do all this insane stuff, and I ended up kind of playing it safe. So I changed it all. I changed. I know I changed it all after. after. Ben's got two lists, so we're good. Hmm. He's got a rule. He's got a list for each rule, so we're we're solid. Okay, good. Okay, good. And I want to say uh, real quick, thank you guys for participating. That was amazing. 
Yes. Um, and we had five, six? Five. Five. Uh, five applicants. And uh, those of you who I called out and did not, you know, submit, shame on you. And those who played along, well done. I appreciate it. You know who you are. Anyway, yeah. carry on, Jim. And I'm going to no, be no, out of state I'm, for the rest of the show just because no, I'm, software. I'm, I'm totally, totally excited about this one. I do apologize that you cannot attach something to the contact form on the C47's website. But we've found uh, a way around that. We got PDFs from everybody, and uh, we'll get this all sorted out. And I think that's it. We're good to go. Uh, you can always just email, by the way, um, contact at the C47.com, and then attach that to your email. I'll just have to be careful if it comes from 360 grad. I'll just say that right now. Okay. <laughs> all right, you Chris. Virus. You, eat bag, you eat a bag of dongles. Let's go. Um, Caleb, you get to talk in single words. Uh, who's first? Oh, geez. Um, should we do ours first and then everyone else? Or should we do everyone uh, else first and then ours? I think we should mix it up. I think we should do like okay. one of us and then somebody else's. What do you think, Ben? I think. Uh, or do we do we get ours out the way and then do everybody? Definitely I, I not. Th yeah. I, th I think we should be the 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 orgasm that we build to. I think we're not going to be though. I think that the list that other people have, at least from what I've seen, are uh well, I haven't seen your list. I haven't seen either of your lists. Uh Caleb's yeah, right. so okay, so no what, all right, so we'll start with uh, a viewer. And I'm gonna yeah. I'll, we'll just put Bart on the spot here. So let me cue this up. Uh, um so it's Victor. Victor. Bart equals Victor, Victor equals Bart. Yes. Is that what's going on? Yeah. Right, Victor uh, and then you sent me an email or like text from his email, which I don't want to. Oh, put you, up, want me right? to, you want me to? I'll read it. Yeah, let you me, read, you do the email. Do you want to do that first and then we'll we'll jump in? And for those just joining us, we did this challenge. A bunch of people submitted, which was awesome. We're about to go through those now and then talk okay. about our picks. Okay. okay so I'm going to, I'm going to sort of, I'm not going to read what the lenses are. But I'm going to read just what uh, Victor said. So he said, here's my wish list for the $2,500 U.S. lens challenge. I chose three lenses that are not common, but still a set where you can shoot stuff with and be creative. So I'm assuming that Victor's decision was... I'm going to choose three lenses or lenses in this up to this price point. And he was well under. I think he's the only one that's pretty well under. He could have probably snuck in another lens. And um, I think he's assuming that he already has lenses in his kit. He's not saying, oh, these are the lenses that I'm getting that, uh, you know, that I'm always going to shoot with. So yeah, we didn't uh, specify what we were doing we, on that. We did not. We did not. We didn't specify a lot of things, let's be honest. So, uh, but that was kind of the fun of the end of the show and very Cameron Flask. So uh, let's see Victor's list. What do we got? Okay. All right, here we go. So I'm going to click. Mm. Well, where's my chat? Um, I need to bring it back up. Bear with me a second, guys. Again, live streams being a real treat today. Yes, we hmm. have other words for that too. How do we vote? You're in the chat. Do your thing, brother. Um, um, in the future, when I get uh, 100,000 subscribers, I'll have sponsors, and then we can give away, like, a light or a lens. I'm just saying. Yeah. Why not? Okay, so. The robot? Nothing new. Um, um, can you guys hear me life, okay? It's live stream audio. Bear with Are you me. Sharing? I'm not sharing yet. Okay. Bear with me. Bear, can you hear me okay? Yeah. Ever yeah. Been? Okay, good. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay, so now it should be ready. I'm going to hit send a live and tell me if you guys see three lenses. I do I now. Lenses. Yeah. Okay, so, let me zoom in a little are. bit maybe. Oh, what's can, uh, Ben, you want to bring up a calculator and do some dollar amounts or are you Mr. Addy? Yeah, I think he's good. I think he's well yeah. under. Well he's under. Good. He's well he's under. Well under. He's like 500 under. Yeah, so we've got – he mentioned this isn't uh, isn't, you know – 
something mm. you would kind of out there stuff, which is cool. So someone want to kind of go over this? Yeah, I, so really interesting things that catch my, particularly the, the tilt shift lens. Mm. Love those things. Now I used to use those a lot wider for architecture stuff, but also you can do all kinds of funky little toy town, macro-y looking effects with those. Uh, the 180 mil, three and a half, uh, three point f three point five L. I tried to rent that lens today. The macro I've got coming up. Yeah. Oh wow. wow! And I, yeah, I was going through loads of different macro lenses and doing measurements and working out where I was going to put my lighting. And that's actually a very useful lens, being that slightly longer uh, focal length if you're doing macro, so that you don't have the lens too close to the subject matter and then you're really struggling to get the thing lit unless you're using a ring flash or a ring light mm. so it's it's a, a very useful piece of kit and a very sharp lens so that's interesting oh so and, is uh, that a, um is that is that a, a one-to-one or one-to-two what's the ratio on the macro on that do you know because oh, i've never I used that one i think it's one-to-one -one, but i was looking at so many different ones and i've actually yeah. rented the mm. lower um Probe. Yeah, the 12 millimeter, the probe, the probe. Yeah, so that's coming tomorrow for this job. So oh, we I'm know excited why. Okay. to use that. Yeah. And then um, and then the the tilt shift, if people don't really know much about that, um, do you want to explain how a tilt shift lens works, Ben? Because you're you're well sure. versed in so tilt shift lenses work in that you can adjust the angle that the the end of the lens um sits in relation to the focal plane of the camera so when you for example they used in the architecture a lot which is how i used to use them so if you look up or down rather than exactly level you get distortion you get convergence on your vertical lines and what you can mm. do with a tilt and shift lens is that you can keep um you can keep those lens those lines completely parallel to the edges of your frame which are it's fantastic, but you can also use them to get a very, um, it, it's essentially mimicking like a macro lens. So you can make yourself look like you're in a model town if you're shooting yourself with one. So yes. you you get a, a, a field of a band of focus across the middle that's out top and bottom uh, and it yeah, mimics the look of a, a macro lens. So they're, they're cool for special effects and also great for architecture. Yeah, you can so. use them for like when you, I mean, there was sort of that, you know, flavor of the six months where you would see those shots that were all, um, you know, very wide shots of a city and it made it look like there were little tiny Lego people running around and tiny Lego, you know, trains and stuff like that. You can do that mm. with a tilt shift, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, exactly. Uh, so there you go. So that's, uh, and then the third lens is um, probably the least, unusual of them all but is mm -hmm. a 20 millimeter um f 2.8 lens and uh, a steel at 420 dollars us so that's a that's a pretty a, interesting kit it's a good kit and what i like about it is particularly that having the, the 180 mil macro and having yeah. the tilt and shift you've got two kind of what i would in terms of specialist or kind of almost effects lenses but both of those can also be used in a, in a standard way at those focal lengths as well. So you've got a very versatile kit in those three lenses. I think that's very cool. I like it. Very mm. nice. Okay. So Caleb, um, right. We come back to us or what do you want to do? Uh, do you just want to keep going or how do you want to do yeah, this? Yeah, let's keep going. You want to just right. load it? Um, yeah, we're looking at your screen. We see the chat moving along. It's kind of fun. It's nice. Uh, like All right. So Wizard that was, uh, that was, who are we going to do next? Um, let's go ahead and knock out, uh, let's do, let's do Chris's. Okay. Let me see if Chris has, uh, any notes here. Chris has an email. So let me read that. Here's my wish here. list. It's not too adventurous, but I think I found a decent amount of stuff for $2,500. I was tempted to get into Cine Primes, but things started getting pricey right away. Though that Rokinon Cine DS kit looks like fun for $2,449. This kit is versatile and has some punch in the 35 millimeter range that I love to shoot in. The only thing I wish I could have added was a prime 85, um, but the lens that he has on there will let me isolate subjects at the long end anyway. Okay. All right, so, ready? Yeah, let's do it. We're up for Chris's. All right. So here we go. All right, let's some Just punch under. Perfect. Oh, very nice. 
Oh. Now we we are lose we've lost the end of the text on that one, but that looks yeah. like seventeen 16, to forty. Is it seventeen to forty or sixteen to thirty-five? Uh, Hold on. I might be able to see here if I zoom way in. Canon zoom super wide. That's uh, just too blurry. Oh wait, uh, what is the? I'll, I'll put the B and H number. Uh, you know, Chris can come in yeah, and Chris, let, and us, let us know. I, I I think that's a sixteen thirty-five two eight mark two. It looks it looks too straight on the sides. I could be wrong. I'm not as well versed in Canon, but it looks like that's seventeen to forty. But yeah. I, I could be wrong. No, you're right. Actually, it doesn't bow out as oh. much here, does it? Yeah, yeah, because it's like straight. It doesn't have that like bump out, right? Yeah. Here we go. It is the sixteen to thirty-five. Ah, F nice, Ben. L. There we go. Yeah. Glad I didn't That's put a, money on a that. Great lens. Very sharp. Very sharp lens. It uh, is it's a great lens. That is a good lens. And then following up with that, focal length wise, we go to a twenty-four to one hundred five f four. Whoa, whoa. What? Uh, I'm like scrolling through this all fancy like. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I was just sort of nice thinking. Thirty-five about... one uh, four is next. That's here. my. I know that's my stupid brain thinking about uh, matching the two lenses in terms mm. of the two zooms. That's my mistake. I just jumped to the end. I apologize. Okay. Um, size 35, 1.4. That's where the big money is being spent. Yeah. And beautiful. Spent well. Spent well. Yep. Yep. Uh, 51.7. Wow. I didn't find that lens for twenty nine ninety five. Zero zero reviews. I love it. Um, and then I don't know why there's no reviews on the twenty four to one hundred five. I think it's because it's used. Power. It doesn't count. Is like a yeah. Yeah. I mean, it might not be used, but boring but solid. I would agree yeah, with that. Exactly. Totally. Not super sharp. Not super soft. Just kind of like a get the work done lens. We yeah. all know about this thing. And so this he's is like, he's super covered on focal lengths and then uh, yeah. two primes. Yeah. And one right. super duper nice prime. Yeah. 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 Super, super nice. Super nice. Cool. A little bit okay. challenging in terms of um, matching, right? Uh, because the Canon lenses will tend to be warmer than the Zeiss. Zeiss lenses tend to be quite cool. So that'll be um, if, if you're if you're using those lenses in conjunction with each other, and then who knows about the twenty nine ninety five lens? But that would be fun, and you've got a you know a fast fifty. So that I like that. That was good. Mm. Definitely um, more interesting than my list, that's for sure. Like um, that. And Shiznuts is going crazy now. Oh jeez. Uh, here we go. He's got lists coming for days. Look at this. I was thinking. It's just a stream of consciousness here and the dollar amounts. You could have just submitted a list, you know, she's nuts. It, <laughs> it wouldn't have been you that could've. hard. Nice. You could have. Here we go. All right. We ready for, uh, we ready for clay. Uh, yeah. Let clay me see. If got the uh, give me one second, kiddo. Uh, yeah. Clay has some, uh, some little, no uh, no, that's the, I don't, I don't think. Uh, there might be one in there. Clay can chime in, but uh, Clay has thoughts about this. Let's see Clay's list. I'm excited. Okay, here we go. Yeah. We'll go click here. Oops, messed that one up. Oh, geez. Here we go. Okay. Um, Twenty. He's got some budget left, which is nice. Uh, well done. He's mm. kicking things off with a hundred millimeter two eight. I used to have this one of thing my favorites. And loved it. Yep. Love that's that lens. Good, that's a super sharp lens. And for four nineteen ninety five, I might just go and buy that lens right now because I do not own that lens. That and there, you know there are what? a couple. I saw a couple on the used site. That is sharper than the L version of that lens at the same focal length. I remember being broke and choosing between the two and then being excited that I could buy the cheaper. You did good. It was the right choice. It's a good time. Mm. It cool. doesn't all have right. the IS, which the more which the L does, but that's really sure. Um, all right, next up, Clay. If you think you're looking for wait till you see mine. Okay, <laughs> rope on. Let's see. Yep. Ten millimeter, Ooh. three five. Wow. So my 
I could be wrong, but I, I think this is a crop sensor. I'd like the fisheye of crop at 10 mil. Okay. Well, it doesn't say EFS, but can it say EFS? If Usually it's on the B&H clean? page, you can say, but I don't think you can tell here. I think the 14 that they make is full frame, but. 10 millimeter. Okay, but we're getting out there, and uh, I'm definitely getting on a ski slope with a Ronin or some skateboarding videos. Let's get some wide angle stuff. Um, get have some That's fun. a lot of field of view for a 350 though. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 And then he went bonkers. Oh, Here EFM. Oh. EFM. What? Oh. How do we do that? That may have been a whoops, but I think, on, I think the price is about the same. Yeah. They make the EFM I didn't know they made them. I didn't know they don't make AFM lenses. Yeah, they have for their for mirrorless. They uh, have a gazillion mounts now. Wow. Interesting. So well, I think I think it's an amazing value kit yeah. for the four lenses and had <clears throat> a camera to put them on. Even better. Oh, Clay says that's not EFM. Oh. Oh. Mm. Huh. Interesting. Well, it okay. uh, actually, can I click on this link? In, in oh, which case, that is a bargain. Yeah, let's find out more. Oh, about he's, that. it's EF mount. It, it cut oh, off. Really? The, yeah. <laughs> cut off the mount <laughs> part. <laughs> Whoa! Our there apologies. you go. <laughs> and they're so, all one. Sorry, what are our focal lengths? Twenty-four, thirty-five, fifty, eighty-five. Okay, right That's now a... uh, you're winning without if a doubt. Winner so far, without it. I mean, I love Victor's unusual, specialized little kit, but this is like as, you as know. I said. Now I got to know about the ten mil. Let's check out this ten mil. Yeah, let's check out the 10 mil. Uh, APS-C. Uh, is it fish? No, maybe not for an APS-C. It's going to have mm -hmm. some barreling on it for sure, but yeah. it's not. Yeah. Let's see if the there's only, some... Uh, the only thing at those kind of... Customer photos. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Uh, okay. Trying to zoom in here. It's not really working. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Wow. So I didn't know this lens was a thing. Nice. Likewise. Yeah. Neither that that did doesn't I. look bad at all. I mean, this shot looks like he's pretty much on this guy. Yeah. At 10 millimeter, and it's not yep. really that bad. So there you okay. go. Yeah. B&H, if you'd like to sponsor the show, uh, let us know. Since yeah. we have your logo <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. So exactly. super solid kit. Um, essentially, he's got uh, 10, 24, 35, 50, 85, and 100 millimeter. This all prime. Right set. You're a rock or star. 20, 200 bucks. So, so far, Clay's definitely winning. You're Without a rock a star. Damn. Without, not even close. Well Sorry, done. Man. Blows my list out of the water completely. I have to uh, say. Mine, yeah, well, everything blows my list out of the water. Okay, here we go. So, um, who's next? Uh, let's Keep see here. Going. Oops. Um, let me cue it up. So, that was Clay. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of jumping all over. Who's this? There's gems. Oh, gem. Oh, I'm just gem. kidding. <laughs> I just had to say something. That's so me. Uh, <laughs> Victor Harrison. Harrison is yeah. Up. Oh, okay. there's no email from Harrison. So let's just bring up uh, Harrison's list. Let's oh. go for it. Oh, so, interesting. Oh, he didn't put the total price in. No, but it's under. Okay, it's good. Okay. Yeah, Not I don't know I where you calculated. This is a B&H yeah. thing. Because I will just say, right now on the show, B&H's wish list feature sucks ass. Um, because they don't let you really do what you should be able to do with it. Um, that's all I got to say about that. But we've mm -hmm. never told them that at all. Yep. So mm -hmm. there we go. Love. End of that discussion. You know. All right. You ready? Yes. yes. Here we go. Hey, now. So so he actually included the adapter needed for something, which he didn't yeah. need to do. So which he didn't need to so props thirty dollars props. off. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. but he had he had he had a couple of he had an extra thirty dollars left. So why not? Is what he said. Sure, cool. Sure. So he, could have, he could have bought that fifty millimeter lens at one point seven. Yeah, right. <laughs> extra credit. Extra credit. Extra credit. Mm -hmm. Okay, there so there's the Nikon to EF. Yep. Yep. And Scroll. we got an eighty-five oh, okay. one four. So uh, Nikon and lens ZF, yes, we're in we're in Nikon, so we're in, which is so, which is why the adapter exists, but he didn't have to do that, but that's okay. No, and well, according to the gems rules, you know, now well, it's in the F lens. 
I, yeah, well, I, I agreed. I agreed with your rules at the beginning that we could adapt it to EF. The rules uh, that we set last week at the end of the show. Right. Those got rules. It. So the rules yeah. that you guys reset at the beginning of the show. Because we didn't the, have the rules show. that you ignored and we reinstated. And, the, and the clearly our, our audience have also. <laughs> at the end of last week. The rules that I, everybody I, but I'm you so agreed. Confused, but I had to sleep for five days. I might have had too much to drink on Sunday also. So, no. Saturday. Okay. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. And then when I had to think about what they were on Monday, I had to come up with something. So, you gotcha. know, I'm letting you guys find it. There we go. We love you, Jem, and, right. and everything is forgiven. Stop it. Um, <laughs> this, so it's nice. This lens, and I, I... This is a... Yeah. Yeah. I wanted this set so bad when I first started with my 7D. Yeah, uh, that those ZFs, and I still would love to own a set of ZFs. There's just something about them that's just. I wicked. I used to shoot with this lens. This is I used to shoot with uh, a lot of those. I had the ZE versions, though I've I've used the ZF, and they're just great. I think those classic Zeiss lenses, even though they've added new coatings to the Milvis lenses, and I and I have those, and they're beautiful. There's just something about the build quality and everything else about those classic Zeiss lenses that, um, you know. They're awesome. Real quick yeah. side note before we move forward, Jem, I would love to see you've done this these videos for Zeiss, but I would love to see a single video of you breaking down all the Zeiss lines in the one video. Mm. So if someone's like, I'm going Zeiss, there's boom, Jem's got you covered. Because you know more yeah. than most about yeah, yeah. That whole set. That'd be awesome. Okay, to see. yeah. The one thing I do love about Zeiss, by the way, is that whether you like their look or not, and I'm not talking about Zeiss Airy Master Primes and, and those types of lenses, but when you take a look at all of their still lenses, the one thing that they've tried to do as a company is make sure that all of those lenses match each other. So you can take a Loxia lens, you can take a Bodice lens, you can take a Milvis lens and an Otis lens. And while some might be sharper and some might be, you know, uh, be less sharp, wide open, they all are designed to match in terms of color. Um, so that's pretty interesting with the Zeiss stuff. Um, yeah, some people just don't like shooting with them because they're too cool and they like that warmer look and everything else. And I think that's fair. You don't have to like them, but I think it's amazing that they are basically trying to design lenses that are interchangeable with each other, um, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. Yeah. So there's the okay. 85. We got the 28 yep. F2. Yes. Which 28 millimeters at f2 is one of my favorite lens like specs ever mm. i don't know what a, what it is but f2 i mean if you can go faster great but f2 on a 28 just is great and this is the ze so you're set on the canon mount we lost ben right for a second just audio wise ben you there no i guess he's coming back i want to say something about that too he's coming Let back go back for a second um, to make sure he's set yeah caleb yeah the other thing that I want to say is that uh, for full frame, 40 millimeter is probably my favorite overall focal length. It sort of, when you talk about a normal lens and sort of how you see the world or whatever it is. Yeah. A 40 millimeter for me uh, trumps uh, uh, a, a little bit over a 35, but definitely over a 50 millimeter full frame. So I prefer that focal length. But if we convert that to APS-C or crop factor or super 35 millimeter camera, um, it really means a 27, 28 millimeter lens. So sort of agreeing with you in terms of that field of view or, uh, you know, angle of view, uh, that 28 F2 is, is beautiful. And then a 40 millimeter for me on a, uh, on a full frame is just lovely. But yeah, both. Thought, I, I'm 35, but it, it's so close. I just a tiny little bit. Yeah. more of what's going on around yeah uh but that i think that's a no have we got to the bottom of that sorry i was i don't uh, know yeah no no i we're still on the 28 28 okay. f2 so i'm gonna yeah. move on to the next one which is a 50 he's going full on full zeiss set. 51 and four Z -E. Z -E and zf yeah which my ocd doesn't like but you know <laughs> i know you gotta, you gotta do, even mm. under 25 me neither Another no, killer lens. And this one, yeah, this one you can get one for... adapter. You can switch between the two. I'm joking. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and then last but not least, we got the 21 F28 ZE. Beautiful. So what's Very our nice. first lens? So we got a 21, a 28, a 35, and a 50. I'll zoom right? out here. 
We got 20 in to, like going in order 21, 28, 50, 85. Yeah. yeah, so that's a nice lens. Yep, uh, that's um, a nice really kit. Solid range. That's I'm all I'd ever use. 35 I'm would be nice, but you know. So annoyed at this set. I, mm. I'd like you to now, for the next one, Caleb, to bring up my list number one, please. Okay. Wait, Before we go on to anything else. No, we, we, I just need to see. I have submitted two lists for Caleb to of bring up. Of course you have. Of course you have, Ben. The, the first one. That's not a dick move. It, Two Is lists. No, no, no. Oh, now we're on the Ben show. All right, here we go. Here's your rules. Let's go. Let's see Ben's list number one. I'm ready. The first list is not valid. No. Because it goes over budget by some, show it. by nineteen dollars and eighty five mm -hmm. cents, right? Yeah. And the list we have just seen. If you look at my list, you yeah. will see why I'm so jealous. So we're <laughs> on your list now. First lens. First, right. yeah. There's just, your nineteen eighty five over. 18 Just, mil f35 see th this was put together after that i then read the rules as changed by gem for today and actually stuck to them so that everything had to be in ef mount i gave you the rules yesterday though and you created the list today. <laughs> <laughs> but this is this is so if you just scroll through it really quickly, because it's a very mm. similar thing, and we don't need to go over. Of this course, we will. About Let's, how great that, Caleb. Let's scroll just, through just it. Of course, we will. Yeah, no. And then we'll go it. to the proper one in a bit. But that's, like, that's the... really nice. 18, 35, 85. Uh, right. So it's it's a smaller set, but it's that it's a nice range, and mm. I'm very very happy with it. And I'd actually emailed mm. <laughs> B and H this afternoon to see if they would knock off. Twenty dollars on any of them for oh me so that I can my slip it. Gosh. <laughs> you sly dog! It hasn't worked, so we can get rid yeah. of that now. That isn't. That is not my now, list. Now, that is I will, just I that will, was the list I nearly snuck in. Uh, she is nuts. I do own a set of Voigtlanders, by the way, that are EF mount, and I absolutely love them. <laughs> One of them being the forty millimeter. Um, I will say this about Ben's uh, disqualified list. That 18 is a brilliant choice because whether you're going crop or you're going full frame, it gives exactly. you a lot of versatility to go with something on the wider end. Not necessarily going all the way to a 16, but I think it's a good choice. Um, but I'm, it still means nothing to me. I, I don't know you anymore. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, get rid of that. All right. Next, next, you want to go to your, your other one or you want to go to the – to finish up our our no let, let's let's books. finish up, up our, our submitted ones from our oh our ridiculous all right let ridiculous. me do this real <laughs> quick you better make sure you go with me uh first on the list we'll just get mine out of the way i'll just uh, let's just you know um, mine so right i'm trying to see if there's anyone left matthew is next okay Reynolds. matthew had an email let's see if he said anything matthew said here's the list i tend not to shoot much beyond 85 mil so telephoto is definitely my weak point in this list. And yeah, I went heavy on the, you'll see the brand. I have had a lot of really good success with them and uh, hope to join live in the chat next week. But is Matthew here? I don't know. Um, maybe he couldn't make it and he just submitted, which is really, that's like somebody, you know, winning an award and then not showing up to accept. You're not at the awards show. What's going on? Okay, here we go. There we go. All right. Switching okay. over here in a second. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, boom. Hey, now. There we are. Rokinon 1428, mm. which is full frame compatible. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, come on, 280 Great bucks. Uh, come on. 20 it's not the Cine, but it's, you know, that's come a on. killer, killer wide angle lens. It's a lot of glass for not much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 2415 Cine DS, one of my favorite Rokinon lenses. I have this one. Okay. Uh, and it's just in the 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 close focus on this lens is absurd. So so what I do is I used it uh, a lot when I had, and I'll talk about this in future videos, but uh, FS 700 with the big speed booster and this thing is pretty sick. But yeah, it's a good lens. Great lens. Oh, Victor Bart. What is the difference between ZF and ZE? It's just the mount. So ZF is a uh, Nikon or Nikon F mount, uh, so, F mount. Does anyone know why? Yeah. Well, sorry, part of it is the aperture, right? Well, the aperture ring is on there, and there's no there's no communication between. No. Right? 
Is there any other reason? What do you mean? What? Why is it called ZF? You mean? Tell us, Ben. It's Zeiss and right. F mount. Yeah. Yeah. And Zeiss and E F and mount. E F e mount. E and yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I think I think you're numpty. No offense, uh, Jim. <laughs> my what? Get, I think. Well, it depends. Okay. I think everyone should go if you're going to get those lenses. Go for the ZFs or ZF twos. Because now you've got manual aperture. If you want yeah. to, you can cine mod them. If yeah. you go with the Canon, you're stuck with Canon only, unless you do. I agree. Of, no, I, I don't yeah. disagree with you. I, I just I did it for the convenience of. Yeah. Um, if you, all you, you know, shoot is Canon, then yeah, go for it. I had a 5D Mark III and two C100s, and that made a lot of sense. Um, but I agree with you. If you want uh, adaptability, then F is definitely the way to go. So we and got 24. And then get them declicked. Yeah, send them over to uh, watch their faces. Uh, yeah, do, do, do close. close, do close, do close, do close. So we got twenty four. We got the uh, fourteen twenty four eighty five one five, which I recently jump. picked up. And again, these lenses are a steal. I mean, mm -hmm. Look, three fifty well, for an eighty five. That other lens kit, it was like fourteen hundred dollars for four focal lengths. Come on, yeah, it's beautiful. Love it. Seventeen to fifty five two eight. Legendary, five hundred forty-nine thousand. Can I? I would like to make a comment about this lens, though. Actually, you know what? Somebody remind me about this lens when we get to my list. Okay, good. Okay. okay. Yep. And the Sigma eighteen to thirty-five. So he's super strong on the wide. Mm -hmm. Yes. And very. Uh, and that's it. And nice fast nice. lenses across the boards. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, close to two eight. That's a good yeah. set. Again, another five lenses. It's a lot. Amazing. Okay. So, at this point, ladies and mm -hmm. gentlemen, yeah. should we uh, start going through ours, i.e. starting with Jim? I think that's everyone. Yeah, let's start with me and get me over with. And then I'll Harry <laughs> carry and all that fun stuff. Okay, let me I'll, load I'll, it I'll up I'll give you my thought process here. I've only got three lenses on here. Um, and... One of them is just to get close to the $2,500. But here we go. So one of these is from an Asian country that isn't Japan. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Are you saying that to protect, <laughs> to protect the country? <laughs> for, for, no, I'm just saying. For, for us. Are you trying to protect yourself? Is it because you don't have that thing switched on on your computer? You don't want to say that oh, wow. no, I'm just, I'm just thought it would be an interesting way to, you know. Very nice. Both lenses are from. It's so Japan. easy to Get focus it. on that front of that lens, as you can yep. see. You stick your finger um, inside the lens and then sw right. swirl it around, and that didn't oh. get us demonetized. You just put a bunch of peanut butter on the inside of it, and yeah, okay, oh, fine. I don't know what's going on here. So, um, so the reason I picked you could have done that twenty nine dollars special that uh, I didn't know about that. She is nuts. Um, can I say that as if it's something? I didn't know about that shiz nuts. So the the lens that I picked here, I only picked because I wanted to make sure I was under the twenty five hundred dollar threshold. <coughs> and um, with your backup list, and I needed a fast prime lens. So you know, this is really to just get you know the close up stuff, people out of focus. Uh, you know, blah 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 blah. I don't know about it, but it got pretty well rated, you know, uh, F 1.8. I'll take it on a 50. That's the only reason it's there. Uh, I the went $71 very if it attaches to the camera properly and if there's a <laughs> click, it's going to get a good review. Surely this is a perfect, like a <laughs> screenshot for like a, a meme or something. <laughs> Yeah, like spends spends sixteen thousand dollars on a C five hundred Mark II, buys a seventy one dollar crappy lens. Let me just say, I really wanted it to be the forty millimeter pancake, but it was just a little bit too expensive. Because what I did is I tried to create uh, my viewpoint. Not that these were the rules, Ben. Shh. Uh, but I was trying to go with the idea that I didn't have any lenses. So I was going to work and Same. I needed to get the Same. job That's done. That's kind of what I was going with so, too, yeah. So my idea was, okay, so I, I really don't have any lenses. And what would be the lenses that I'd want in my kit for the type of work that I do? 
And that's why I chose the two lenses that I did. So let's go ahead and take a look at those two lenses. Just, um, just, need, to, just need to bring it. <laughs> it's, coming. it's one of those thermos cups, but they added a UV filter on the front. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> uh, that's great. And it, and it says Canon on it, but with two ends. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Uh, in the middle and at the end, so it's got four ends. Can none. Um, <coughs> okay. Oh, Potato Jet used one of these on um, his. Alex pulled a, a cannon with two ends and did Potato Jet with two T's. I like it. Carrying okay. through. All right. So the first lens, <laughs> the first lens is the lens that I have on the A-cam right there, which is um, not a lens that I own yet, but is a lens that I 1 million percent I'm gonna buy as probably my next lens, which is the Canon EF 24 to 70 F 2.8 version two. Very important that it's the version two. Um, yes. I, I will say I own the version one and Same. it's a it's a dog's ass compared to this uh, lens. This lens, is so sharp and the difference between this lens on a camera stuff for my educational videos and going to the original 24 to 70 the 24 to 105 uh, version one or two and also the 17 to 55 which is considered a very sharp lens no 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 this lens is just beautiful is great for this type of stuff and it's a 28 um, it's only downside to me is that it doesn't have IS. So, you know, go buy a C500 Mark II with the stabilization and you're good to go. Um, but I will say that, got it, Alex, makes sense. Um, cool name as well for your son. Uh, the, the whole point here is that this lens is just going to be a workhorse. Now, obviously, I don't have anything wider here. So I'm looking at this primarily for full frame, but I've used this lens plenty on, on 35. Um, so I think, you know, that that's the thought process behind this 24 to 70. It's also, you know, it's the lens that I want next. So, uh, I'm going to have to save some money and hopefully this is the next one in the kit. And then quick, quick jump in here for people who haven't seen it. Jem has a video talking about all the different Canon, like zooms in this range comparing them so you should check it out on his channel oh yeah i forgot hey, about that subscribe while you're here hey why not and if hey, you're on here. what's going on here kids um the second lens is is really i mean uh, used is just a workhorse is uh is this one right here which is the 70 to 200 um f4 l is this is version one by the way um sorry i it is an F4, but I will say it's this. Light. It is it's light. It's so incredibly light. And the truth is that with the high ISOs on this camera, if you're at an 800 at a 28 on your A camera and you go longer focal length and you're at a 4, uh, there's nothing wrong with boosting your ISO to 1600. Or 1600 on A and on a lot of cameras now you can go 3200 on your B camera. Um, I think it's a workhorse. They've replaced it now with the version 2 of this lens which I have not tested, but parfocal, beautiful image, easy, um, just a, a beautiful hand holding lens, uh, just running and gunning with a C100, uh, C200, um, pretty much any DSLR. You can obviously adapt it to a lot of things. I've just had incredibly good success. And, and the one that I have is a great copy. So um, I, I just feel like that's a rock star of a lens, and and to pick that up for you know less than eight hundred and thirty dollars used uh, in near mint condition and brand yeah. new, they're they're ten ninety nine. The only reason I went used is I had to get under that twenty five hundred dollar price range. And, and, uh, and used, they had the two eight for not very much more than Mark one as well, which I also yeah. have and love. Beast though, I mean for yeah, hand heavy, but yeah, great yeah, yeah. great lens. Um, so that's my list. It's a little bit boring, but I think that from a practicality standpoint that for day in day out production, that that lens is, um, and, and the whole set, except for that 50 millimeter piece of garbage is really going to get the job done for most stuff. I, if I, if I had a, another couple of hundred dollars, I would have gone with something a little bit wider as my, you know, my third lens, but mm. I needed a fast, I needed a fast 50 or 85 because 
it comes into play a lot when you're shooting, you know, inserts and you're shooting B roll and stuff like that. Yep. Very nice. Um, we cool. have six minutes left before the oh end of God. the show. Mine will oh so, seconds. Let's go. Mine Sorry. So fast. I'm going to – oh, oh, you want to do yours? Okay, cool. Ben, well, list it, two. Yours will be more interesting. So Here we go. Right. Boom, 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 boom. Mega quick. Well, we might only have six minutes left because somebody had two lists, but let's go ahead. <laughs> go Got ahead, someone into way too much detail about why the 2470. Anyway, the um, – <laughs> so <laughs> really, really, really basic – Three lenses. So I've also gone for the 1755, which I do own anyway. Love it. Run and gun lens. It's got the image stabilization on it. It's really sharp. Uh, it says it's F28 all the way through. It isn't technically, but it's great. Love it. Uh, and then for anything that isn't that, two lenses to do the lot. And it is on a crop sensor only for all three of these lenses, which is fine. That works on what I have. So I have the uh, Sigma 18 to 35. Everyone knows this lens. It's F1.8. Mm -hmm. Great lens. And also the big brother to that, the 50 to 100. So they're going to be matched. If you're doing interviews, you can do a wide, do a tight. It's going to get you pretty much everything you're going to need to do in your day-to-day -day jobbing. Right, done. Move on to Caleb. Something more interesting. Okay. Oh, goodness Very sake. nice. Uh, I'm going to throw mine up here. Uh, here comes the rock star. screen. All right, I want Rokana too. Big surprise. Uh, okay. Total price twenty four thirty five ninety cents. Wow, this is low res. Twenty four one five, just like uh, previous people have. That's uh, great. Fifty millimeter one five. Yep. I just got this recently, as well as the eighty five one five, and then the Sigma eighteen to thirty five. Very smart. Mm -hmm. Very and smart. the 7200 FL. Oh, F4. my God. That's a killer kit. So yeah. I've got, uh, I, I figured, like, the way I would shoot if I were doing what I used to do, which is interviews and doc stuff, like, two, two zooms, zooms cover everything. I, I almost never, I found I just really didn't like using 24 to 70s. That was no. my, like, emergency lens, but I never wanted to use it. Yeah. And then... Uh, these primes give me, I can do these with interviews instead of the zooms if I want, or, you know, just some flexibility. So, so funny it. what you think about the 2470 that I'm exactly the same that I've just, I used to use that all the time and I, it, I don't even pack it anymore. Yeah. Yep. It just yep. sits well, I on the shelf. I, it's only for, let's go to our four up. Um, I think it's only for, for this type of content that I like that 24 to 70. So, but I shoot a lot of this type of content. So I need an A camera in a studio to create this type of stuff. And so I need a really sharp um, lens like that. And that's why the 24 to 70 is on the list. But I think that there's many more lenses that are far more interesting. Let's just talk about this for a second. We've got Clay's list and we've got Caleb's list. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that they're very close to each other. It's a tight race. I would say for day in, day out production, my call is going to be Caleb's list. And I'm not playing favorites. I'm just saying that those two zooms in there and those two primes means that you're going to just cover tons and tons of stuff. But I think Clay's list is a little bit more interesting in terms of uh, the variety of, you know, and the quantity of lenses that he has and what he's covering with his stuff. If okay. I had to, if I had to pick, well, uh, you know, my favorites, um, if I had to go shoot with one of these tomorrow, it would be mine because I designed it to be that way. Oh, but, uh, but, but that's not my favorite list. Uh, oh wait, we're seeing. Um, yeah. Oh, you're bringing I'm showing up Clay's. A Clay's yeah. is like a, is like the prime kit, right? He's got all the yeah. primes, a killer range, and I love the twenty four or the one hundred two eight. And I wasn't saying mine's my favorite. I'm saying if I had to shoot a project tomorrow and make money, that's the one I would use because that's the style of you know shooting I would go with as yeah. each of us have gone with. But when it comes to just like, I have to pick one as a favorite, it's going to be uh, uh, Harrison's with the, the it's, it, come on. Wow. Me the too. Zeiss, the Zeiss, it's good. It's good. It's great. You, you, you open a case with any one set of those lenses in all of those sets that we've chosen, which is the one that's going to make you. This one's going to spark the most joy. It exactly. is hard. Even, even with yeah. the OCD, Same. with the two different lens mounts, you just be happy yeah. if they were all ZF. That yeah, would be, they're all that would ZF. Be, that would really, in a that case would, that would get it. That with would matching take lens caps, that would get it done for me. Yep. 
Okay, but All we're right, in I'm agreement. With you. I'm yeah, with you. But basically, we've got Harrison, we've got Clay, we've got Caleb. These are our uh, our th our top three for today, not in that order or in those in that specific order. Uh, you've got a minute to chime in if you feel that somebody else's kit was better, and if you do, you're lying. And uh, it was beautiful to hang out with you guys again, as always. Um, before we say our goodbyes, a little housekeeping. I'm going to L.A. next week. Uh, I'm listening to a lot of rain here. It's going to be warmer, and I'm going to be meeting with a lot of people and hopefully getting some work. Jeez. Uh, but that means that a recorded episode of Gearbox next Monday, hopefully as a follow-up today's lighting, where I'm going to show you some examples of some things. And uh, and then probably no camera and flask next Wednesday, so we'll be back in two weeks. Gentlemen, uh, parting words and any ideas for what that episode should be? Oh, parting send, words, send yes. <laughs> Everyone send Gem an email. What we should do next? Yeah, let's yeah. do that. We got to let Caleb get rest and get better because um, he's traveling soon as well. Mm. So you guys are awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much for getting involved and sending yes, stuff in this time. It was That's a been blast, amazing guys. to have that interaction. Awesome. And every so single great. one of those lists, you could go out and make money with tomorrow. And they were also diverse. It was very interesting. So thank you one and all. Jago has been lurking and not said hello until now. So uh, good night. And I hope you've had a great shoot. He's been doing something very interesting in Cape Verde the last couple of weeks. The lucky boy escaping nice. to very sunshine. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. Have a good evening, everyone. Keep your hot toddies hot, and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I'll go with it. All the best. Good Love night, oh. Snap. This is awkward. Uh, Goodbye. Goodbye oh, and good night. For real. It's not